It was that moment where you could see that all of a sudden they'd switched on to what we were trying to do. And I think what's happened is that science has become a little stale. So one of the things that we have been seeing, we've been losing a lot of science students over uh, quite a while now actually. So I think what I'm trying to do with the Scientific Creativity Initiative is change teaching methodologies. Get the kids to engage. The narrative that we use in this program is the narrative of abiogenesis. How did life start on this planet? One of the things that the students did, probably unbeknownst to them, is that they communicated the theory of abiogenesis to the general public. Now, the scientists have not done that for a long, long time now. They've shut the lab doors open and they go to conferences and they talk to other scientists about what they're doing, but they don't inform the public. And these, sci these students, all of a sudden, were explaining to the public, to the mums and dads of this world, of what this was all about, what they were engaging with, what they were trying to say. Just because we're told to do it a certain way, doesn't mean that we can kind of maybe throw a bit more in. We could leave a petri dish open over the weekend uh, and go home and come back Monday and who knows what will be on the petri dish eating away our bacteria and we might have discovered the new uh, antibiotic uh, uh, it's going to take us into the future. I'm hoping that it's a good example and that's really what I'm sort of using it as and especially in the science creativity initiatives just to, sh to show students when they are a bit stuck wondering you know how can you be creative in science as well here's some projects that have been very creative and it, this is what they've generated you know and and, and 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 look at the artistic merit that it's given us and look at the scientific merit that it's given us you know and i think that is really my aim is to uh, just generate new ideas for students